Hello and welcome to another video. So yesterday I uploaded a video of me doing a sort of a run through of the Manjaro XFCE and then I was going to choose which one I wanted out of the KDE versions as well. I'd already installed the KDE version so I checked it out last night and just had a little play around with it and um, I'm just going to go straight ahead and install KDE, the KDE version. I think I was even using less RAM than the XFCE version. So I'm just going to install this now, um, do that with you and just show you how we set it up. And then, um, yeah, just have a little run through. It's, this will be the last upload of 2019. So, Happy New Year to everyone. Right, let's go. Oh, let me just enable tap to click because that will annoy me. Um, there's input. Input, input, input. Input devices. Ugh. Yeah, I hate not having touch to click. Tap to click. And there we go. Tap to click. Right. Perfect. So let's go next. Um, Europe, London. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Right. I'm just gonna. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm just gonna erase the whole disk, um, and we're gonna go for swap with Hibernate, so we can Hibernate and have all our off sort of applications reappear when we open our computer. And um, just have to make sure we've got large enough swap. Let's go next. Right. Let's enter our user. Um, Tyler Lappy. And then the desktop's called Tyler PC. Makes my life a bit easier. Okay, let's go next. Okay, this is what I was talking about in the XFC video. So you get a choice of what Office Suite you want to use. I've never actually used FreeOffice. It's a powerful Office Suite with word processing, spreadsheet, and presentation software. It is seamlessly compatible with Microsoft Office and can be used free of charge. Um, I'm still going to just stick with LibreOffice. Okay, let's just review our options, make sure it's all correct. Okie dokie, um, and then we'll click install. And in order to install Manjaro 18.15, you, yep, install now. Right, so we'll leave that to do that. I'll um, pause the video, and then when we come back, we'll be at the desktop. All right, that's all done. That did not take long at all. I'm sure if you look at the clock, you could guess. Okay, so let's do a reboot, and then we'll um, we'll be good to go. Right, let's take that USB out. Um, it'll capture up with the capture card in a moment. Like now. Um, oh no, I'll have to set the display thing like I did on the live to mirror the displays with the capture card. So there'll be a moment where you just see the extended display. Um, taking a while to boot. Here we go. Um, it's taking a while. First time, I suppose. Here we are. Okay, so what I'm going to quickly do is enable um, tap to click, and then we'll ex we'll mirror the displays. Oh, it's opened it up on my capture card screen. Ugh, let me just move that so I can actually see what I'm doing. I've just got an OBS preview there. Okay, cool. All right, let's just go straight into input. touchpad, tap to click, apply, and then now let's mirror our screen so you can actually see what's going on. Display configuration, I'll show you it on this screen. So what we're going to do is going to go over to the Ava Media, and then we're just going to go to Replica of Laptop Screen, and then that will mirror the displays for us. Okay, cool. Right, so this is the KDE version. Um, if you've not used KDE before, you, it's uh, sort of standard panel interface at the bottom or top with an application launcher here and then you get your sort of indicators and stuff to the right. Um, it's very customizable, you can configure it with a lot of different themes. What we're going to quickly do is just run through what programs it's installed. Um, I want to see if it comes with GIMP. No it doesn't. Okay. Um, so I know it comes with Steam, so we don't need to install Steam. I just want to open it quickly now so it will update it while we do the video and I don't have to do it later. Right, let's leave that to do that. And then let's go through the applications very quickly. So as I say, games is for Steam. Education will have Libra, Mathematics and Science. <coughs> Sorry, oh, I've got a terrible throat. Um, Ocular Viewer, yep, so just a standard, same sort of thing as XFCE, apart from a couple of things would be different. Um, yep, so you get sort of single entries for sort of functions of KDE Connect as well here. So if you sync your phone here, you've got like KDE Connect SMS, so you can send and receive messages from your phone, Android phone. Um, on your computer, 
Let's go back. Um, office will be LibreOffice. I will try a free office one day. Anyone who's tried it, let me know if it's any good. I'm sure it's good if they you know, have it as an alternative in the installer. And let's open up the updates center thingy to see if we've got any updates and then we'll start setting it up. Oh, and let's also go into preferences and enable the AUR or repository. Right, uh, let's pop open to here. Um, let's check that. Um, check for updates as well. Cool. Right, so now let's go to updates and see if there's anything for us. There is not. So let's grab some packages. Let's get Discord. Let's get Telegram desktop and CLI. I've been playing with the um, Telegram CLI client. I actually really quite like it. Um, so I'm going to install both. Actually, no, I'm just going to install the desktop client for now. I will I will install both, actually. I'll show you what the CLI client looks like for those that haven't used it. Let's just build it. Um, what else do we want? Um, we're going to want Caden Live, and as we're using KDE, we will get the official version and uh, the um, version that's on the store and not the app image. Let's go back. We all we don't have GIMP, so let's grab GIMP version 2.10. Yes, please. Right, let's click apply on that and let that do its thing. And then let's grab a couple of other packages actually. Let me get Tmux as well. Install. Um, think of some other stuff in a moment that I'm going to need. So let's just click apply with that. I shall log into my Steam off off of camera. Apply. Um, do, 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 do I want any of these DVD? Nope. Nope. Um, yeah, not too fast about that either. Right, let's let that install those. Oh, okay, and then let's grab some themes from the global theme and then just sort of change the way it looks. Global theme, and let's open our web browser, which is going to be Firefox. And then let's grab some um, icon themes as well. So what I'm also going to do, um, so with when you download the um, the Arc icons from like Gnome Look or whatever, it doesn't have all of the icons that you'd want, but then if you have Mocha installed, it'll grab them from Mocha, so like um, the Telegram icon will actually fit the rest of it and just things like that. So let's get the Mocha icon theme, um, we'll wait until that one's done, and then we'll grab the Arc icon set as well. And what we will do is just make a folder at home for our icons and then we'll grab this <coughs> okay let's go to download let's grab this one and we're just going to download it and we're going to open it up I don't need to save the zip folder all right let's open up our global themes again where were we global themes so right let's get new theme and we're just going to go and get the arc theme as well to go with our icons Arc KDE, there we go, let's install that. And here's our icons ready to extract, just loading the archive for us. Right, so we want to extract all of this. We want to extract the whole thing. I'm putting, I hope it's going to keep the um, sort of file tree. Um, where am I? Home, there it is, <laughs> I just need to scroll up. Right, so let's do Control H to show that folder we just created, dot icons, and we're going to extract it here. Right, we'll leave that to do that, and let's see how we're getting on with our applications. Where are we? Well, that's still going. It's just building Telegram CLI at the moment. Right, is that is that done? Our icons, is it? Let's go into the icon application that allows you to change your icon themes and see if it's done that. No. So let me go into that folder. I think what might have happened is we've not extracted it quite properly. Let's have a look. Arc icons. No, it's there. Why is it not there then? Hmm. Let's see if it's there now. Maybe it hadn't fully just extracted. No, we'll do a reboot in a bit and stuff anyway once it's all updated and we've installed packages so we can see how much RAM we use. So how are we getting on at the store? Oh. What is the store one? That's it. <laughs> I'm just not used to these icon themes. Okay, we're going to grab... What else did we want to grab? We want to get... Oh, what was I going to get? I can't even remember. Okay, that's done anyway, so let's apply that. Um, apply. 
and then what we're going to do is do our shortcuts very quickly so let's go on to I think it's a global shortcuts let's have a look yes we want to just full screen that so we can actually have a look and let's go to kwin and then what I want to find is window uh, virtual desktop to the right and left so where's that move pack quick tile show desktop grid switch one desktop to the left there we go and we just want to set that to control left and control right I don't use the um, control left and control right for anything else so I'm not too bothered about reassigning that so now <coughs> nope, nope, what we have to do is go into our virtual desktops and then configure the virtual desktop so I only want one row I don't use two rows I just use one row oh sorry one row and then four desktops is the way I do it and then I'll just click apply and then that way you get the desktop switch at the bottom here so you can have a look at sort of what's going on and move icons and things like that and then as I said you've got the keyboard shortcuts as well so we want to do a couple more shortcuts so we can move windows to our next desktop so uh, switch window to the left no what we want to switch window to the desktop on the left there we go window one desktop to the left so let's do that and we're going to do control alt and then directional keys same for this one um, obviously different direction and then let's click apply and now we should be able to move that to the next desktop so let's get something a bit smaller so we can actually see it let's open up dolphin which is your file manager and then let's move that to a next desktop there we go and then as you can see that's there let's move it back all is working as we want right let's also install hstop very quickly and then we'll do a reboot get a ram reading and see what's going on with our icon theme there and why it's not taking effect properly right is that all done that's all done so let's run hstop we'll just grab it from here while we're here and we've already got it cool right let's do a reboot I've got a comment why I always reboot I, I'm just a habitual rebooter by the way um, hopefully it'll boot a bit quicker now as well that we've sort of done a first run let's have a look um, I'm getting anything on the screen here any minute there we go okay are we back right now we're back at the desktop let's just oh sometimes my touchpad on Linux just doesn't work unless I sort of touch my function key to disable it and re-enable it again it's very strange doesn't happen in all distributions but some it does right let's um, close that right let's jump into a terminal and just check what htops giving us there we go see 650 megabytes if you remember when I was checked it on XFCE it was like 750 or something so and I think you know KDE is nicer looking without having to touch anything too much out of the box anyway so I think that's probably going to sort of keep us going and what we're going to set it on so let's jump into the icons now see if that open actually right let's um, open up the icons application again and see if the arc themes there no mocker is right I'll tell you what let's re-download arc theme we've obviously done something a bit wrong there maybe they just don't work on um, this KDE setup who knows right we're gonna download and save save file let's open up a file manager and just download the folder we'd already created so where's dot icons here we are and let's just straight delete that okay how are we getting on with this oh let's set our global theme as well that we down oh, wrong one that we downloaded before we rebooted global theme and then let's just go to arc dark and click apply perfect right is that downloaded yes it has right let's just try this and there's dot icons again can we just do an extract here extract archive here right let's see if that will do it So it says it's finished. So now let's go back into our icons, close it, and then reopen it. Right, 
No, they're not going to work, are they? I've um, I've had them working on another KDE distributions. I don't know why. Let's just go for Mocha for now, then. There we go. Right, let's close that. Let's close that. There we go. We've got oh, the only thing I don't like about Mocker is the pink here with the arc icon. It's the same shape and stuff. It's just blue. Okay, I'm not too fussed about that. So let's open up our, um, some of the programs that we installed and just sort of set them up. So let's open up Writer as well and pin that to our taskbar. Pin to Task Manager. Let's see what version we've got here about LibreOffice version 6.2.8.2. Okay. Right, I'm going to show you the um, the Telegram CLI because I actually think it's quite cool. I'll, um, obviously, I'll blur my number and whatever else. Close window. So, Telegram CLI. And then, um, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll um, not show, obviously, my number on screen. I will blur it out. I need my phone. Where's my phone? My phone. Right, what's the uh, code? Let's hope that's the right one. There we go. So now I'm online on Telegram and I can use Telegram in a terminal, which is pretty cool. So it's sort of few simple commands, contact list and things like that. So let's just clear that. Um, so, and you can, yeah, you can have sort of chat message, uh, sort of a chat window where you can send just a single message and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I suggest anyone that uses Telegram to check it out. It's quite fun. Right, let's keep going with what we've got so far. So we've got Caden Live now. Let's just quickly open that. Did we get Discord? Yes, let's quickly open that. Pin to Task Manager. Pin to Task Manager. Cool. Right, let's sort our desktop widgets out as well. I don't usually have a lot of widgets. Um, let's go to Configure Desktop because I don't like having that thing in the top right either. The toolbox. Let's go to Tweaks. Show the desktop toolbox. No. Click Apply. Okay, let's just change our wallpaper quickly as well. What ones have they got? Cold Ripple. Let's see what that one looks like. Hmm, quite like that. Nice. Right, let's continue setting our desktop up. So let's make this panel smaller as well. Um, about there. Yep, that's fine with me. Okay, widgets. So add widgets. What I usually like is just things like sort of RAM readings and stuff, just a couple. System load viewer, memory status. Let's see what this one looks like. Cool, yep, that's all good for me. And then usually have we got a network monitor or something? Network monitor, there we go. Um, and that's all I really use. And then what I do is I lock them so they don't move. Cool. Right, and now let's lock all widgets. Let's just close this one up. Um, lock widgets. Okay. Perfect. Right, so I think they come with Thunderbird for your mail. Um, I don't really like, I don't not like, sorry, I, I do, don't mind Thunderbird, but I prefer Evolution. So I'm wondering if it's worth uninstalling Thunderbird and installing Evolution quickly. Let's have a look. In the way. Um, if I uninstall Thunderbird, will it just take Thunderbird with it? Let's have a look. I've had some weird issues with certain distributions, like being a bit picky when you try and remove Thunderbird. To remove Thunderbird, apply. Cool. Right, Thunderbird is gone. So let's just get Evolution as well. Install, and then we'll get EWS. Install, and then we shall click Apply. 
Um, do I want any of these? Boom, 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 boom. Mm, nope. Is there a tool? Oh, it's going to be um, the K Torrent Client, isn't it? Or whatever they call it. Conqueror. What is that Torrent Client called? Um, let's just click apply for that. Ah, uh, hold on. Let's just grab the load of stuff that I don't think I wanted. Let's have a look. Downloading Evolution EWS. Evolution. No, okay, cool. It didn't. So let's just open Evolution Ready as well. Because that way I can use my Office 365 sort of notes, tasks, reminders, and sort of everything else like that. So it's installed some weather application. That's all good. Cool. Let's open up Evolution now. I shall pin to Task Manager. Well, I'm not going to do it like that. Hopefully, we can get it all working nice and easy. So let's just go to Accounts. Collection account. Let's try that. I'll blur my name out. Let's get to next. No, you see that's just finding the things. What I will do is I'll do it off stream later, um, off cam later, and just set that up. I don't want to fiddle about with that too much and have to blur too much of the screen out. Right. So we've got Steam as well ready to go. Have we? What I will do is sign in here as well. Um, I'll, as again, I'll just sort of blur it out. Oh, I'll wait for that to come through on my phone's email client. There we go. What's the code then? Cool, right, and that's Steam going. Let's just download um, CSGO quickly while we're waiting. So, oops, there it is. Steam, do, 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 Global Offensive. There we go. Let's install that. Next, and let's also download Lutris from here. Install. And let's grab the wine, some wine stuff as well while we're here. Install. I just have one tricks here as well. Yeah, so we're going to grab all of that. Apply. Um, lib32. Yeah, go for it. Choose. Okay, let's let that do that. Um, I'm almost all sort of set up now. I think that's all of the programs going to use for the most part right this second. Um, I'm going to hide my face very quickly to show you what the widgets I've got to look at. I've just realised you can't really see them. There you go. So that's what the desktop will look at. Um, I quite like that wallpaper so I'll probably leave that as is. Okay and we're back. Right, um, I don't like desktop icons so let's just remove that. Okay, let's see. Uh, have we got a backup? Have we got, have we got time shift? We have time shift as well so let's just open up time shift and set a quick snapshot. Let's go to next. Uh, estimating system size and um, what this is going to do is sort of take a snapshot of the file system um, we want it on that one yep next um, uh, I'm going to go for weekly don't really need daily I don't anyway stop calling emails to schedule tasks finish right let's create our first one one minute four minutes four minutes two minutes 57 so it's probably going to take about two and a half minutes give or take okay there we go, that's looking all very nice. Let's open up PageTop and see what that's saying now. So we're at 2.4. Let's test Hibernate as well once we've installed that to make sure our hibernation is working. And I think that is us sort of set up for the new year. Oh, obviously, we'll have to wait for that as well. Probably shouldn't have done it at the same time as the uh, time shift, but oh well. Um, what I will do is I'll pause, pause the video and I'll come back. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, and we're back. Um, I did a little quick Google as well of why the icons weren't working. They keep them in a different folder in Manjaro and stuff like that. So just copied them here and our icons have now appeared in the icon theme. So we can change that to arc icons now. So let's click apply. All right, these ones have disappeared, but we'll sort that out in a moment. Cool. Uh, let's leave that for the moment. 
So what I'm going to do now is just quickly set up KDE Connect and then see if the Hibernate works as well. So there's my S9, so I'm just going to click. There's everything that I want there. Um, inhibit, blah, 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 blah. Right, let's request a pair and then that will flash up on my phone. Somewhere, there it is, request pair, accept. And there we go. So now we will share notifications and things with our phone. And it does have a send SMS thing here, so I just wanted to check that out. Let's type in KDE Connect. KDE Connect SMS. There we go. So I'm just going to wish let's grab that maybe. Yeah. Um, I'm not really going to show you anyway. But yeah, so you can sort of send a text and things like that, same as you would on sort of anything else with KDE Connect or GS Connect or GNOME and things like that. Right, let's test our hibernating out. Hopefully it's in our menu. Yep, hibernate to disk. Let's see if this is all working as it should. So, yeah, uh, password prompt. Looks like everything has worked. There we go, so hibernating is working as it should. Perfect. What icons are these? Caden Live, it hasn't sorted. An evolution, okay. I'm gonna do a final reboot and a RAM check. Um, see if those icons will take effect as they should and then we'll sort of wrap up the video there and that will be my distribution for the sort of new year for the foreseeable until a sort of a major one comes out. The desktop as I say never changes, I always just keep, I have two partitions on my main desk, well two different disks, one has Windows and one has Debian because my capture cards, there's, there's no way I can really manage to get it run on Linux, I've tried, it's just not working. So I have one partition basically just for filming these ones here when I'm using the capture card. Right, so it's moved our widgets to the wrong side and we're not getting any icons here. So then let's unpin these these and see if there's something we can do about that. So there's a none at all. KDE Live, there should be one for the arc icons though. Right, let's go back to Mocha for now. Um, at least we know it's got the icons for us. And then we'll move our widgets again hopefully they do actually stay in place after a reboot i thought we locked them perhaps we didn't there we go so caden live should be back where's not finding kde live right let's go into applications multimedia and it should be right there there we go application icon is back Right, let's move our widgets. It's a bit annoying that they've not... It is locked, yeah. Unlock widgets. That's a bit annoying that it's not kept them where they should be. Right, let's try that again. I'm going to do a final <laughs> reboot because it's going to annoy me if they don't stay there. Right, lock widgets. Moment of truth. We're going to do a reboot check the RAM and we are done. Right, we're back. It's not keeping them where I like them to be. Um, that's a bit annoying. Maybe I have to set the position a bit differently. So let's unlock them and we'll just remove them for now. Um, I'll update you guys on Twitter or something if I can sort my widgets out. It's a bit annoying. Right, can we just... Uh, okay, man. Hold on. Right, unlock widgets. So we didn't unlock them. Get rid. And let's get rid. And the RAM's still sitting at a nice 680, still under 700. So yeah, this will be my distribution, I think, for a little while. As I said, I'd, it was going to be this or their KD, uh, XFCE version, but I think this just suits me a bit better. It looks nicer and it uses less RAM. So that will be that. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Happy New Year. And uh, yeah, take it easy.